horrific. That's how deputies are describing what they found inside an East Mountains home in January during a search warrant and new lapel video proves just how disturbing it really was. Now the woman who police believe is responsible is in the wind. News 13's Alexis Koneski has more. These Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies had no idea what they were about to find inside this Cedar Crest home last month. Oh, damn. Is it bad? It's bad. The worst hoarding case they have ever seen. There's a rooster. Dozens of animals, both dead and alive, buried under trash piled nearly to the ceiling. While the deputies struggle to move throughout the home, the smell inside continues to get worse as they make their way up the stairs. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> A smell so strong. Man, it smells like someone's dead up here. And what they find outside on the property is just as unsettling. More trash and animals, some of them just bones. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's the horse head. Deputies say an elderly man and this woman, 74-year-old Deborah Battaglino, were living at the home. On top of severe hoarding and animal cruelty, documents also point to elder neglect happening inside. One of the details that stuck with me in this case was that the, the male in the house um, hadn't been able to access his kitchen for five years. And he was essentially, he was only eating outside of the house. You know, it's very troubling to think that someone had to live like that for such a long time. However, because the victim was uncooperative, Battaglino was only charged with animal cruelty, 19 counts of it. She was summoned to court in early February, but never showed. Now there's a warrant out for her arrest. BCSO says this case has a mental health aspect and resources have been offered to Battaglino with no success. The next best thing that we can do is build that criminal case and hope that resources stem from that and that she gets the help that she needs so that she doesn't continue harming people and animals. You know what I'm excited to go home and do? Take a shower. Alexis Gineski, Care QE News 13. The sheriff's office filed with the PAWS program. That's an animal-related diversionary court. However, the case was considered too severe. The district attorney's office is now involved. BCSO says by next week, an online anonymous tip form will be on their website for people to report cases like this of animal cruelty.